This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Hey, party people. What's going on, Krusty Crew? All right, man, we gotta get right into it because the garage sale is already starting it's and starting. Uh, I'm getting a little anxious about it. We have a whole table here full of Lego goodies and we're gonna be shopping. We have a bunch of cash because coming up very soon on March 2nd on Whatnot, we will be doing a charity auction. I am so excited, you guys. We don't have all the details planned yet, but anything that I know is down in the description. So make sure to check that out and follow me on Whatnot so that you can know when the charity auction is happening and hopefully participate if you would like to. It's gonna be so much fun. There's tons of goodies here. I'm so excited to start shopping for inventory. Oh, this would be so nice. This is actually my first ever Lego set. It'd be fun to buy this one. The theme for the auction is retro. So I'm trying to find some like kind of retro themes, mostly like IP sets, especially new in box is really fun as well as some minifigures. I'd say this is pretty retro. That would be kind of fun. They have a lot of really good sets here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, superhero girl. These are so good. Maybe that one would be a good one. They have some Star Wars. Let's see. Is that the pet shop? I think so, yeah. We're checking some prices. How much for the Powerpuff Girls here? Powerpuff Girls is 25. We got our first little pile of goodies. Here's this too, Ross. It was 250 for these. We got the Powerpuff Girls, the 60 Years set, the Yellow Submarine, and then Joffrey! Little Toys R Us kid. Now we are heading back into the craziness that is this garage sale. It's really stressful actually. There's lots of stuff going on here. He's holding up the chest set. Looks like a lot of kind of fun holiday sets. Ooh, this one's so cute. I wish it wasn't so expensive now. It's so good. We're trying to find a few smaller things because um, we just have limited space in our luggage honestly. This area is kind of dangerous. I feel like Ross would go a little too crazy here and then we would be out of money immediately. He has this set. I remember we built this one kind of around when the new Daily Beagle came out. Lots of minifigs here. These are kind of fun. Hi. My dream sets, all the Scooby-Doo. Oh, They're so cute. We have the Mr. Machine over there, the giant Scooby plane. Oh, I love seeing these, it makes me so happy. We found all these basketball player NBA guys and they have mostly matching parts. We're kind of thinking about picking up some of these. They have the cool like spring thing going on. Ross is trying to match up the cards now. All right, we just bought six games for we made sure to match up all the cards with their jerseys because it does say the last name on the back. Ross over here adding them to the pile. Thank you, Ross. All right, then we just got these. I got some Duplo animals because they're so cute. And then all of these McDonald's printed pieces because of how retro is that. And also Star Wars for obvious reasons. At this booth, there's just tons of minifigures all throughout. I found a Benny, so I might try to, try to snag a Benny. Ooh, this would be good. Marty McFly. Ooh, Doc. We need Doc as well. Let's see what else is in here. They have so many minifigures here, and Ross pulled me over immediately because they have these like three packs, and we were like, these would be so fun. Look how fun these are. So I'm really excited we found these. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And we have a bunch of boxes here. We're thinking about the flowers, and then they also have the Back to the Future here. One of the Lego Dimension sets. <laughs> we're getting the flowers here for 40. We're still looking through things. They have lots of poly bags here, and that's what I've been looking for mostly because they're easier to ship, they're easier to take home. Ross has pulled out a few that he's excited about already but then over here there's also lots of really good pieces and lots of these nice green pieces oh god there's so much here that i want we'll see we might come back later meanwhile ross found a lot of good stuff here oh wait these are really cool okay yeah he got some good stuff adding these all up comes out to 75. oh you had it oh my god thank you no one has changed <laughs> That Thank was the last so of it. We're gonna need changes eventually. CMFs over here. I feel like Disney could be kind of fun, right? Ooh. We have tons of more poly bags and CMFs in this area. Oh, dots are bracelets. These are like a relic now. They're rare. Wait, there's some good figures in here. I want to go through here. Watso. That's kind of fun. What about these? The teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that's so fun. Found Jesse, Lasso, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bunch of poly bags. I'm about to go grab Ross and do a con haul for you guys to show you everything that we got. But let me tell you a little bit more about whatnot first. We've done a few streams just selling off some of our old Lego collection that we didn't really love that much anymore. But we also did a charity stream in the past, which was really fun. We raised around, I think, $3,500. We wanted to do another charity auction. We'll be auctioning off everything that we bought today, as well as a bunch of things from our personal Lego collection. We're doing like a retro kind of vibe for the 
stream, so there's a lot of retro items. There's some normal Lego items. Emily from the future here. I am at home now and I'm literally editing this video right now. But there's something big that I forgot to mention while filming and that's because conventions are exhausting in the best way possible. But y'all, I'm finally gonna have some custom printed elements in my buy it now section on the auction. So there's like auction, auction, and then there's like buy it now. I'm gonna have a bunch of items over there listed for super cheap, like between five to $15. And that's because for the auction, I wanted there to be a way that was just super accessible where anybody would be able to donate. When you sign up for whatnot, using the link down in the description, it gives you $15 of in-app credit that you can then use and basically get something from the buy it now section for free. What I'm planning on doing as of now is having a bunch of signed bricks, having signed tiles, but then also some custom printed Emosaurus elements. But if you sign up for whatnot and you don't use the link that's down in the description or another influencer's link, then you don't get $15. So make sure to use the link when you do sign up. Back to the video. In our last charity auction, we had so much fun with it. So many people came out and Ross was doing this weird like auctioneering voice that people actually really enjoyed. So I'm really looking forward to seeing a lot of you there. Make sure to follow me on whatnot and book mark the stream so that you can be a part of it. All right, Ross, you ready for a haul? Come on, haul. Come on, haul. Come on, haul. All right, so from the garage sale, just right off the bat, look at that, Joffrey. We so, are Toys R Us kids. <laughs> R.I.P. Joffrey. <laughs> Check this one out here. We got a sealed new in box, the yellow Beatles. submarine. Woo. Super so excited. Exciting. That one's so good. Uh, this one's really cool, really retro. This is the 60 year anniversary, which is, I don't know, it's been like almost 15 years since then. <laughs> right? That's kind so of crazy. it's really cool. There's a little thing on the that. side, but it is new in box. Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Aren't these so cute? I really wish it came with Buttercup, but you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> we got actually a few of these old school NBA guys. They're <laughs> super cool. We got six of them. <laughs> And we even got the little cards that come with them. They so, can doodle limbo. Yeah, they're pretty cool. This is a really cool, unique figure. All right, check this one out. I'm really glad we scored this one. Gift it's with so purchase, good. botanical. It's the only like botanical that you can't just buy. And it's such a beautiful set. Honestly, it's kind of a shame it's a gift with purchase. It's so pretty. <laughs> so we also picked up just a few CMFs here. These are from uh, Lego Movie 2. Some poly bags. Woo! Check these out. Some classic space boyos. Two white and a red. A few of these Star Wars poly bags. Mr. Freeze, Lego Batman. Two Isn't versions. Cool? Yeah, two of them I'm in excited. There. I like the disco one. I think he's really cute. We got some uh, old school Knights. Uh, I don't think this is Knights. I think this is like 2009-ish Castle Kings. We also got a few other Dublo. We got a tiger, giraffe, and a polar bear. And I know you're all asking, there is no butthole on the Dublo tiger, so. What are you gonna do? Oh my. Okay, these I found and I was like, okay, I need to get these. Ross wandered off, but I was like, come back, look at these. These are the McDonald's, what were they? Happy Meal toys? Yeah, they're McDonald's Happy Meal, or I guess you could call them McDonald's gift with purchases. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> A G Wop from Mickey D's. I don't know if this top one is Mickey D's, but Ronald McDonald is Mickey D's. Wait, and then the Nuggies, look at the chicken Nuggies. Does anyone remember those McDonald's movies that they used to have? They're so good, they're still on YouTube. They go camping, there's one where like Grimace has like a second family or something. There's an ocean one, they were really good. Check this one out, we were able to score a little bit of a dirty Lotso. A little Lotso. A little Lotso. We even got some old school minifigures from the olden days, a little bit before my time. Check that out, all those old castle figures, and look at that, that is super cool. Speaking of old things, we got old Ben Kenobi, two of them, 20th anniversary. A few more poly bags, and a couple of like random figures. We got this really old school yellow spaceman, really old school looking. We got a Jack Sparrow. This is probably one of the better Jack Sparrows, or at least it is in my opinion. Face spinning is just so good. We got this uh, Imperial, uh, I guess Imperial soldier from old school pirate set. He looks really cool. Look at him, look at him. I like that mustache. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got a few more of these different classic spacemen. So we got some red, a few more white, and then we have this one. I cannot remember the theme that this guy is from. I I think it's not, it's not Black Trunk. I want to say it's uh, Space Police. I don't know, let me know if you guys remember what theme this is. I don't know. And we're gonna end it on a Jesse. Eee, Jesse! <laughs> He's all dirty too, poor Jesse. Yeah. And it has like the weird longer legs too, right? Weird. When they were making sets to go along with Toy Story 3, 
they tried a little bit harder to make them look like they did in the movies, whereas Toy Story 4, they just kind of made them look more like minifigures. So that's everything. That's our con hall, right? Con hall. Con hall. Con, con hall. Con, con hall. hall. Overall, it's been like a really great experience so far. It was a pretty relaxed yard sale compared to some of the crazier ones I've been to, but there was a pretty good selection of things. Yeah. No, so. it wasn't as hectic as some of the others, but we definitely got some goodies. I'm pretty happy about it, and it's also kind of a smaller convention, so there's a lot of familiar faces here, which makes it really fun. Too. It's been two days. We just got back from Atlanta BrickCon and here is the suitcase where we put all the Lego in. It made it home safe. Thank goodness. Again, make sure to mark your calendars for March 2nd for our charity auction. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video and we'll see you then.